called out by Pennsylvania State Police. We have a missing hunter. Hey folks, I want to show you guys this video. It's absolutely a great video. Hats off to the pilot. Good job putting in work with a thermal drone. This is not a normal drone deer recovery video, but I want to show you guys this search and rescue that was uh, done with the help of a thermal drone, Matri 30T, by a pilot out of Pennsylvania. Hats off to the whole search party. Let's watch it and then I'll have some closing thoughts at the end. All right, getting ready. I am just got called out by Pennsylvania State Police. We have a missing hunter. I'm loading up the car down in Hanover, PA, Western PA. All right, we got the car loaded up, got the drone, got the battery case, got the battery charger, generator, wires, tent, TV, work light. We're in the Hanover, it's about a 20, 25 minute ride. We got the Blue Eddy going there, um, charging the batteries as we go, so we have full batteries when we get on scene. All right, here we are. Um, on my way down to Hanover Township, uh, PA, I got about a 22 minute ETA. We were called out by Pennsylvania State Police. There's a lost hunter. It looks like he was tracking a deer and got lost tracking it. Uh, he hit it earlier in the day. They, State Police said they're asked for their helicopter. They're not sure if it's going to come out with thermal or not because we got some rain going on and they don't think it's going to fly because of weather. Um, we're taking the M30T down here. We're going to uh, see what it is. It looks like the properties may be on some state game lands and some um, state park lands. So we'll see. Keep you updated as we go along. Tina! Hopefully we get it up there. You said there was gunshot just down here. Probably, probably that way on the six exactly. Towards here, Kendall. It's not over him. Right. It's hard to set. Yeah, it is. He's going to be playing. Go ahead and switch over to thermal. Right by um, R3. R3, right hand side, lower so uh, section. <laughs> Is that where we are right there? No, that's the next house down. Oh, what's that? What's... Hey, Jim, go back to your left a little bit. So this is what people actually look like in the woods. All right, so that's what they look like. See how they... Sure. Yeah. As I fly through there, they'll turn red. Yeah. Mike, did you get that cow topo leak? Yes. Did you? Are you able to share it with people? Yeah. I think. Are you guys using cow topo too? Uh, uh, no. No. I thought that was fire. What is that? Uh, so what cow topo is? It's a live tracking of everybody that's in the woods oh. using your cell phone. Yeah. Yeah, right here. That's hand over Kendall right there. You got some walking right there by themselves. Right in front of the axe. Right there, yeah. All right, flashlight. That's a searcher. Yep. Has to be a searcher. Why we got a searcher out there in one? The nephew says he has no lights, no cell phone. Oops. Well, that's, that's, that's pretty much the last known location. That's quick, right? So that, that puts us a quarter mile closer to that, right? Um, we still have it. So we have his weapon. Hold on. Take a seat for Peter. You've been out all night. By the way, my radio does not work at all. Can you make it up? I tried you on F1 and 15. What we got on road that day. Yeah.
We'll get you out of here. Everyone, I appreciate it. Everybody who found them, thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, because I got these. Your family's going to be my same spot. Here. We're they're all, I'm sure they're Was all there. Yeah, so we're so I told Matt, yeah. we split up with him. I'm like, dude, you I'm going all the way back out there. there. You're good to yeah, go, right? We're good to be returned back there. We just made it to the far end of this field. We're going to take a gunshot in the car later, but I'll take you in the car. You ready? So consequently, I just said I need to leave. I'm probably going to go to the park to see you. As I'm coming here, they're like, Nick, we're ready. Uh, honestly, I was on my way at the end of Hanover. <laughs> I should have done this two go hours ago. I was like, I, I got to go to the park. I my son-in-law as he jumped Hanover Kendall. Yeah. And we searched all the buildings and stuff back here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've, we've been there all night. We got a, Everybody's there. There's a drone people. There's troopers. There's 100 firefighters. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah, let's get you. There's only four departments. Yeah, don't worry about it. Like Christmas music. What do you have? You need help? But thank you guys so much. Huge help. Who found it? Good job, ladies. How amazing is that? They were able to find that old gentleman that was uh, lost out while tracking a deer at night. Now that brings me up to the situation that we got going on in Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been brought up to speed, but Pennsylvania Game Commission is saying it kind of flip flops back and forth. You, you can't track a deer 30 minutes after sunset and it just doesn't make sense that that is their stance on it now they say if you call them they're gonna let you go track it but if you try to recover it with a thermal drone then that's where you you can't do it so it just doesn't make sense the states have to come around to supporting a technology it can be used not only to recover you know deer carcasses it can help with this type of thing where it's a search and rescue of a, a hunter or a lost child uh, lost dogs those type of things drones are a vital tool they act absolutely work you know the drone maybe didn't find this hunter specifically but it did help eliminate areas that he was not in right so the time that would have been spent in those areas looking on foot not knowing if he's there the drone was able to go in there boom you know quickly eliminate those areas but really good job by the whole search party team uh the pilot everybody great job i appreciate it that's all we got for you guys on this video we'll see you guys on the next one